Hi again. I think today I'd like to talk about a special bowing um, or a special place on our bow. Most people always play down here because it's very comfortable, especially short notes. They come easily, uh, very natural in a way. But we neglect the other part of the bow, the upper half or even the middle. So I think this is very, very important because we have a very nice way to play in the upper half of the bow, but it's more difficult. So a little hint for advanced cello bow technique. Um, why don't we take the popper number one etude? Everyone knows this and everyone plays it here at the frog. <laughs> the string, a very nice broad spiccato, not too fast, so that we learn how to cross the strings, etc. Now, why don't you try it in the middle or upper half and have almost the same result? So each note has to be attacked and released at, right after attack. in the literature where you can apply it, uh, say Beethoven variations. Everyone plays at the frog naturally, what about this? You can shape the sound, there's a different result, although the notes are also very nice and short. So try this, it's really good to know. Um, an exercise to start with, of course, you can also uh, play scales like this. Very good exercise. Um, what you need is an attack and an immediate release. Look at my bow. I don't know if you can see this, my bow goes down, the stick goes down to the hair. Every time. Give it some time because it takes quite some time to be able to do it at the tip. All best.